Hello. In this video, we will be sending an expense report from Gorilla Expense into Dynamics SL to show you how the integration between the two works. I have a report in front of me with a confirmation number GE4605. It is manager approved at all levels. There are two expense lines on this report. One is charged to a project named Business Reengineering. The second one is not charged to a project. Both of them have the user's default subaccount assignments on them. One is a cell phone expense. The other is a project equipment rental expense. The total of these two lines is $2,560. We'll be sending this expense report to Dynamics SL using our proprietary integration app, which is typically installed along with the SL client on the same machine. Currently, this report is Manager Approved. On the interface, simply select All, change the drop down Update Status Bar to AP Approved, and click on Send to SL and Update Status. This will send the expense report as a voucher to SL and update the status of the report from Manager Approved to AP Approved so that this report does not show up on this list once it is successfully sent to SL. The row will turn green to indicate it was successful. It will turn red if the integration encounters an error, in which case clicking on View Logs will provide you the details related to the error. You can click on Reload to ensure the status was changed to AP Approved as only manager-approved reports are available on this screen to be sent to SL. Let's see how the report looks in SL. Select Financial from the left column and choose the Voucher and Adjustment Entry screen. Browsing to the last record, you'll see that our expense report with confirmation number GE4605 from Gorilla Expense has transferred over to SL and the confirmation number has been mapped to the invoice number field on the voucher. Both of our expense lines from the report are available on the voucher, with one of them not having the project or task assigned to it, and the subaccount is defaulted to the user's profile, which also happens to be the subaccount selected by the user on the expense line. However, on the second line, you will see the project and task assigned and the subaccount is the default subaccount assigned on the project card. I have the project card open here to show you what the project card looks like on SL. Here's the business reengineering project and the default subaccount on it is PO00000. You will see that this subaccount is assigned on the expense line instead of the subaccount selected by the user on the expense report. Rules like these can be configured during integration, depending on each customer's requirements. You may want to include a subaccount for certain projects, but not others. Simply let us know your specific needs and we can configure a tailor-made solution. Please note that both of these expenses had a default subaccount number, but you'll see that the business reengineering line had its subaccount number reassigned to match the subaccount on the project card. That brings us to the end of this demo. Thanks for your time today.